for Blender Challenge 3 uh, model of communication device I am going to create a cassette player and uh, this is uh, just a, a reference image um, this is from Jack Perry actually uh, and I hope he doesn't mind me using this as a reference image um, he created a lot of the models for uh, alien isolation and so this is just a screen capture of his and all I'm going to use it for is just to trace the outline so I hope that's okay you could use any uh, cassette deck that you wanted if you wanted to do something similar to this I'm going to try to do this uh, without any uh, end gons and without any subdivision surface uh, or minimal anyhow so I'm just going to get the overall shape of this and uh, that's all we're going to do with this and then I'm going to put this to rest and, and model the rest of it. Okay, so I got my plane and I just want to get the overall uh, size of this thing and we're going to use this to make uh, the base and this like that. I'm going to scale it just a little bit more out in the X. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to shut that off for now and this is going to be the base. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit E to extrude and I'm going to come up in the Z direction just a little, little bit. And I'm going to hit S to scale and I'm going to come out. I'm going to look down from the top back in wireframe and just look and see how even that looks. You can see it's come out more in the Y than in the X. So I'm going to scale in the X just a little bit and get a bit more even like that. Okay, cool. I'm going to select this face. I'm going to extrude up, and it's going to come up like this. That's going to be the main base. I can always change the height of that. Okay. Now I'm going to scale this out to get that kind of a curve, or slope really. Look at wireframe. Scale in the X a bit. Just like that. And now I'm going to come up straight. And that's that's the base. Okay, might have to come up a bit more and the handles will come out there. Okay, take that, shift D, and copy that. P to break it out. So I've got that piece. That's what I want to work on next. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting I can right click set origin geometry. I'm so used to doing it the other way. Okay, now here's what we're gonna do. Um I think we'll come in and we'll give this some some thickness. I'm gonna look down from the top and wireframe. I'm gonna turn this back on for a moment, and you can see that I've come out a little bit more than uh, the diagram, but that's that's gonna be okay. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into edit mode and put down some edge loops, and I don't want an edge loop here and here and here like that and this is going to make that front piece so I'm going to select all of these faces here and P to break it out I'm going to hide uh, all the rest of this stuff for now so I want to make these these buttons in this space. As you can see, there's a there's a longer area here and then a thinner one. So I'm going to work on that. And you know what? Maybe it is too wide. Maybe everything is too wide. Okay. Let's uh, let's look at this in wireframe and let's scale it all in the X. A little bit narrower like that. Okay. So this piece here is what I want to work on, so Shift H is fine. Okay, now I'm going to take this front and I'm going to pull it down like that. I'm going to put an edge loop and Control B and pull it out. I want this area and I'm going to slide this down to there. I want that area. Okay, cool. Just like that. All right, now I'm going to take this back and I think I'm going to. E to extrude, come out sort of straight, that's what I'm trying to say. And I'm going to delete that face there. 
Okay, now what I need to do is take this edge and I'm going to extrude it down to the level of this. So I'm going to hit E to extrude, come down in the Z, turn on snap to edge, and come down and just hover my mouse over that so it's the same. Okay, turn off snapping. Select that edge and that edge. I have to make a face. And now um, you can look up here and you can see how many um, faces I've got. No tries, no end gones yet, thankfully. If I just select those and make a face, this will update in a moment. And you'll see that I've got one try and I don't want that. And so what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to put an edge loop there and I'm going to GG, I'm going to slide it down to about maybe there. And now I've got another point in here. So I can take this point and this point, this point and this point and have to make a face there. See if I like that. I make mess this up so I got to join the right uh, the right point so I'm just going to select the edge F and make a face so I'm still okay um, if I put a bevel on this I get this I might switch to angle and uh, try it like that okay now let's come in here and let's see, I'm going to roll my mouse up a bunch of times. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to put an edge loop. And press GG, that'll let it slide up the edge without bending this. And I'll put one there. And I'll press GG and I'll slide down. Leave a similar distance between uh, here and here. And now I'm going to roll my mouse up a bunch of times, and I should have probably counted because what I want to get is uh, these spaces, oh, not that one, and have enough room. Okay, so it's not that, in other words. How many is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I want, I'll do 12 then. I can use this, put in, plug in 12. Mm, they might be too thin, actually. We'll see. That's probably okay. I'm just going to eat extrude and I'm gonna pull them down in. Okay, so I've got that. Cool. And we'll see. I probably, I really don't need the underside of this. So let's just uh, press three and see the paint over all this. some of the sides so I'll do it a different way I'll do it this way grab the bottoms there and delete those faces okay and hopefully that looks all right okay let's bring everything back now this piece I can uh, make it a little a little shorter Let's uh, take this bevel and put it on here. So select that and then this, Control L modifiers. I might adjust that bevel soon. These pieces will of course come down onto here and I'll have to actually change the size of those to fit. So I'm gonna select them all. I'm gonna scale this in the Y. And uh, it's scaling from there. So I'll just move it and scale this in the X as well. here and I'm gonna make some spaces so I'm just going to go ahead and bring in some edge loops right near the end there and right down here and I think I might uh, 
I might move these a little bit and give myself a little bit more room here. And I'm going to need um, an edge here. And here. And you can do this to, you know, to real specifics, but I'm not going to bother. And then on the sides, I think I need it like this. Let's just have a little look at how far off the diagram we are. Okay, it does come quite out far. Okay. So I'm going to scale in the X. And actually, I'm getting confused by seeing the other stuff. So let's not do it that way. Let's scale in the X and not look at the other stuff. There we go, just like that. Okay. And so now I'm going to take uh, these faces and extrude them down in. And I'll figure out how far I want to go in a bit. I'm going to bring those back. Take this and this, and con uh, control L modifiers. And for this, I can go ahead and put shade smooth, and I might tighten that up in a bit. Uh, in fact, I might work on that right now. For now, I'll do that. I'll have to cut into that later. Okay, let's let's have a look at this stuff here. Um, this is where the speaker is going to go. Before I work on that, I'm going to go ahead and I'll take this face, Shift D, and I'll bring it up, P to break it out, and I'll use that to build something here. So I want a piece like this. It's going to come down and fit in. And then I'll have these sort of bars and then another thinner one. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. I'm going to extrude it up a little bit. And it ha still has the bevel. Um, maybe I'll go ahead and get rid of back faces or on the underneath face. So I'm going to delete that face there. So that'll slide in there. I'll look at the bevel later. And I'm going to want another one, Shift D, up here, but I want it narrower. So let's come in and wireframe. Grab that. Let's hide this again. Um, let me just look at that. I want it like this. And this piece, maybe, maybe a little bit longer. Like that. I might push these right in and delete those. I'm not sure yet, so we'll see. I'm going to use this, Shift-D, bring it down here, and go in. And I'm just going to scale this in the Y. I'm not worried about the curvature too much. Okay. And uh, here, fine. Set origin of geometry. Let's add an array in the Y. Reasonably close together. Okay, for the moment, until I decide to touch it up. Uh, let's hide all that, and let's come in here. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break this out. So I got that piece. I'll try to get used to right-clicking and doing that. And I'm gonna use this, and Control-R there, Control-R there, and select it all, right-click, and subdivide a few times. Maybe that's enough right there, right now. And how be we, okay, make a circular hole. Actually, I want it bigger than that. And so I'm going to scale these in the X. 
and scale these in the Y. <clears throat> for this now maybe I can just grab all these I'm gonna inset okay let's um, it's a pretty good circle though let's try loop tools convert it to a circle like that I'm gonna take these points here and scale them in the Y these ones scale them in the X so it looks like another circle. I'm going to take these and let's just get rid of them. Let's try that with Control 2. Shade smooth. I'm going to put edge loops here and just straighten these out. Like that. Shift Alt and click here. Extrude down. Get, the, get rid of the bevel. Now it helps. And I'm going to close this up, E and S. I'll come in, and then I'm just going to grid fill and let it be. So that would be my speaker in there. Underneath this other stuff, so you'd see a small indentation of that. Now, it kind of goes under here, so let's hide this for a second and have a look here. Okay, so maybe I will make it uh, a little smaller or I might move it. I'm going to control plus a few times to come out. Um, I think I'll scale it down a bit, pull it up a little bit. Now, if the shading looks a little off, I can I can try on the bevel. I can try none. And if that doesn't do anything, I can come over here and choose weighted normal and then auto smooth. I'll leave that one like that. I'm going to take this piece here. That's a big enough area for me. You know what? I think this is a little bit big for the cassette, so I could use that area a bit. So I'm going to come into wireframe, and box select all this, and I'm going to move it up to give myself more room. This can be a little bit more of a normal rectangle. That's a bit better. I'm going to take this piece, and I'm going to... Uh, I'll break it out move it up okay and um, let's go in and extrude down first off and then I think what I want to do I'm going to extrude down more I'll worry about the bevel in a bit I think what I want to do is do that and I want to have a recessed area in there Come out to about there. I'll come up like about that. And then what I'm thinking is I would get rid of those faces and rebuild uh, the rest of it. Okay, let's uh, turn off the bevel for now so I can see what I'm doing. Oh, that didn't help me that much. Slash to just look at that. Okay, so what do I need to do? I need to do what I did before. I need to take this edge and I need to extrude it down level with this one. So E to extrude, come on down, snap to that height, I'll turn that off, make a face, and then now I can close these in. Turn the bevel back on. Okay, now let's have a look at this bevel. Let's go 0 0.05. Oh. There we go. Shades with that still may be a bit much, and I'm going to try um, arc, which I think I like a little bit better. And I'm also going to add this. 
Okay. Let's bring everything back. Oh, it's a slash. And let me think about sides and stuff like that. I'm not certain I want to delete the sides and stretch it out at this point. Although I do think that's a bit thick. Scale in it. I think it'll look a little bit better if it's sort of like a thinner piece of metal in there. It was debatable if I wanted a bottom piece in there, but I think maybe not. Okay, now let's take this. Let's push it down. And let's just think for a little minute here. Move this a tiny bit forward. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to bring an edge loop down like that. And I'm also going to take these edges here on this thing and I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and round these like this oops let's see one two three now you can see the heart here end gons and it shows me where I got a big end gone in the top and then gone in the bottom well I'm happy to say that I'm not going to use the bottom so I now got one and gone up here. Um, I want to take this edge here and I want to bring it down even more. I'm just pushing it. So I want that a little bit sharper. And I am not going to worry about that and gone right now. We'll figure out what I want to do with it later. Let's look down. Uh, and let's go into wireframe and uh, don't be surprised if I'm off the diagram here quite a bit mm. maybe I do want that smaller this area here I'm just wondering if I bring that down how big is my plate mm. well it's my CD my cassette player and I can do whatever I really want with it um, but I think I think perhaps I'll make some adjustments based on this so the first thing I'm gonna do is what that's the first thing I'm gonna do This one's okay. Where's my other piece? Right there. Eh? Yeah, maybe I'll make this a little bit smaller. And that'll help with the speaker as well. Oh, I guess my screencast keys go off when I do that. If I do that, we'll come back to that speaker, I guess. Go to the array, let's up the count. Okay, one was probably enough. Let's see where my speaker is. Ah, oh, I think I can make it bigger now. Let's scale it. That's probably okay. So just little adjustments here and there. I am probably going to stick with that. Uh, what we'll do is let's let's focus on just that. Let's just I just want to see what this is like. So we've got this piece here, which is thin on the bottom, even thinner on the top, but I might make those equal and then they come in and there's even a little piece that sticks out. And a little, you know, some of it could be a little tricky and weird to do. So uh, let's get out of that and hide this. Let's go ahead and take this piece here. Shift D, P, I didn't delete this piece. Maybe I maybe I will, maybe I won't. I don't know. Let's look down. 
and uh, just the way this is roughly going to go is like this. Control B will come up like that. I may have it equal on the bottom and the top, <clears throat> and then we'll come out. But the sides are going to be wider like that. And then there's going to be a little piece that's going to stick out. Uh, so is this what I want to be doing? No, that's not what I want to be doing. Um, yeah, it is. So, you know, maybe like that. <clears throat> and then one more. We'll do something like that. And then what I was thinking is I would get rid of... Um, all of this, right? Now this, I think, is relatively thick. And I can also put on that weighted normal and auto smooth just to help out. So really probably what I would have to do is pull this up so it's kind of like that. And then see what other uh, pieces would have to go on there. Um, I just want to have a quick look at how the length of this Thing relative to my reference diagram. I think I want to shorten this piece here. Okay, so I am going to set the origin of geometry and I'm going to scale this in the Y. I just want to make sure that it's not bending in any funny way. fix the base of this in, in a bit. And I'll look at the side. And I'm going to pull this in to something like that. Okay. I think I can probably get rid of the bottom on this. This piece, shifty, and bring it out to make the handle. And we will put an edge loop, bring it back like this, but actually it's, I'm gonna break it out. P, I'm gonna scale this in the X, and then I can adjust all that. Let's, uh, let's give it some thickness. Let's take these arms here, these regions, and extrude them back about that. And then we'll uh, scale this in the Z as well. Take all these 
faces. Give it a bit more thickness. And this face. And this face. Pull it in. And delete it. So let's let's leave it at that point. Just have a look with the cavity shader and shadow. loops in here in a bit um, I can come over here and I can do that and you can see that some of these need to be flipped So that's what we've got so far. We've got some more work to do, of course. It's a, it's a good start.